A highly toxic poison is being spread across the South Pacific Islands of New Zealand. It's laced into carrot chunks and cereal, and it's intended to kill every wild mammal with teeth instead of a beak and fur instead of feathers. Scientists believe that New Zealand has no native land mammals, that only birds and a couple species of bats existed there when humans arrived. Some birds were apparently hunted to extinction, others were decimated by animals like rats that arrived on ships. So the government wants to get rid of its predators. What's this guy? This is a pretty special opportunity. This is a takahe. They were only rediscovered high in the mountains in Fiordland in 1948. And um, they're one of our most endangered birds. There's only 280 left on the planet. And it's not just the birds on the brink here. The tuatara is New Zealand's most iconic reptile native. Looks like a lizard, but is really the sole survivor of an order that goes back to the dinosaurs. They're entirely endangered. Yeah. So the problem for these guys is, again, they evolved in the presence of avian predators, not mammals. Right. And so their response when threatened, you know, from above, when threatened at all, is to freeze. freeze. If you freeze and you've got a, a rat or a stoat or a cat behind you, it's, it's game over. So Zealandia is one of the last few places a tuatara or a takahe can relax. But Kiwis are not content with just predator-free parks. They want to make New Zealand a predator-free country. It is a plan so audacious in scope, it's been called New Zealand's Apollo Project. That is, wipe out every rat, every mouse, every possum, every weasel, hundreds of millions of predatory mammals by the year 2050. And to pull it off, they'll have to spread millions of tons of poison all over this incredibly beautiful country. But as much as Kiwis love the Kiwi, not everyone thinks this is a great idea. While most New Zealanders have said they support protecting their island's native species and the killing of the predators in uninhabited areas, there are concerns about spreading poison around. For one thing, it can kill pigs and deer, which aren't native to the islands, but aren't target predators either. For another, experts say the poison won't work on its own and neither will things like fences. Some scientists have proposed genetically modifying certain predators to keep them from breeding. Technology for that doesn't even exist now, and some members of the public don't support using it anyway. This project is massive, and so is the cost. Estimates to carry it out range from tens of millions of dollars to several billions, and keeping other invasive species from arriving in the meantime is also a challenge. 